it's Sandy, and in today's nail art tutorial, Miri and I will be showing you tips, tricks, and hacks on how to stamp your nails perfectly. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe below for new weekly videos. Now let's get started. As always, start your nail design with a good base coat to protect your natural nails. This will smooth the surface of your nails and it will protect them from staining. Next, paint your nails with a good base color of your choice. Remember to use two coats for best opacity. Then it's a great idea to use a fast drying top coat to make sure that your base color is completely dried. The top coat will protect your base color because you need to push the stamper on your nail, which can damage the perfect base color if it's not completely dried. For stamping, you will need a stamper, scraper, and a stamping plate. If your image plate is brand new, don't forget to remove the blue protective film over it. Also, before you begin stamping, make sure that your stamper is completely clean of dust and debris. You can do this by using clear tape. Another tip is to avoid using metal scrapers. These can scratch up your image plate. Instead, opt for a plastic one or an old credit or membership card. For stamping, it's best to use special nail polish that's made specifically for stamping like these, especially for black and white. Here's the difference between using stamping nail polish and regular nail polish. The stamping nail polish is much more pigmented and therefore opaque. Okay, so let's try stamping directly on the nail this time. Begin by applying the nail polish over the image that you want on your nail. Scrape off the excess polish with the scraper and then push the stamper onto the plate to pick up the design. Then quickly roll the stamper over your nail before the design dries onto the stamper. Working quickly is key. Then you can easily remove the excess polish from both your skin and the stamper by using some clear tape. It's important to clean up your image plate for its next use. So dip a cotton swab into nail polish remover or acetone to do this. Then wipe it clean. It is possible to use regular nail polish for stamping, but you need to test out the nail polish you want to use first just to make sure it's opaque enough. If it's a very thin nail polish, it won't work. Thick, pigmented ones work best. As you can see, the last nail polish we tried worked best for stamping. You can always stamp several times over the same nail, so use your creativity to mix and match stamp designs by layering them on top of each other. Another stamping method is to create a nail decal. Just apply some top coat over the image on the stamper, wait for it to dry, and then you can carefully peel it off. Try using tweezers to peel it off, as this works best. Apply some top coat on the nail where you'd like to place it, and then gently press it onto the nail using tweezers again. For the next stamping design, we're going to be using this new clear jelly stamper. This stamper is very useful because you can see through it, which allows you to place the image perfectly onto your nail. By the way, you can check the description box for links to all of these products that we used in this video today. This time, we're going to stamp with a gold polish. Apply it, scrape it, and then roll the stamper over the image. Look through the stamper to see where you want to place the design, and then press it down onto your nail. Another method for cleaning up around your nail is with acetone and a small paintbrush. For the next nail design, we're going to be using the Sticky Marshmallow Stamper. This is a very squishy stamper. This time, we're going to be using liquid latex for cleanup. Apply the liquid latex around the cuticles and give it a minute to dry. We're also going to try an ombre gradient this time. Apply two different colors for the ombre effect and then scrape a couple times so they blend together like a perfect gradient. Then you need to roll the stamper gently over the image. Don't press too hard with a marshmallow stamper because it's so squishy. Then gently roll the stamper over your nail. Remove the liquid latex and then clean up any leftover nail polish using a brush and acetone. The final step is to add a top coat to seal in the design, but some top coats will smear stamped images. So before you add a top coat, make sure to test out all the ones you own to see which ones will be okay to use. Then once you've found the one that works best, add it over all of your nails to achieve a beautiful shine. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and comment below with which stamp nail was your favorite. Click the info card in the top right corner for even more nail tutorials here on Cute Polish, and check out Miri's personal channel, the link will be in the description box below. Take care, and I'll see you next time!